We are made to prosper in everything. We are made to increase and to overflow. Hello, workers of faith. Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And by commenting your testimonies, you are, you are uplifting someone to do a spiritual work. You are uplifting someone that miracles still do happen. And if it is your first time seeing me in this video, please subscribe and like and also comment. And don't forget to, to click that notification button so that you can be updated. There is a simple thing that can be done anytime simple ritual that can be anytime and that will change your life you can even pause this video uh, to do this what i'm what i'm about to show you or you can do it with me while i show you workers of faith the thing is we are always chasing money we don't make money to chase us and money to catch us but after doing this what i'm i'm, I'm about to show you money will start to chase you and it will not only chase you but it will catch you remember money always put in your mind that money is available and release that thought of thinking that money is for some certain people money you don't deserve money remove that thought before you do this ritual or before you do this work of money those thoughts and those metaphors they are delaying us from getting the abundance of money, the abundance of money, because those words we, we, we've grown with, we had them while we were growing. So we have to remove those words, those metaphors like money doesn't go on the trees, uh, money is always scarce. No, remove that thought completely, because I believe every work or ritual of money works the only thing that hinder money to come is those thoughts. Money is for everyone and there is plenty for me and there is plenty for you. You just have to remove those thoughts and we just need to be okay with money. Don't be in a thought of like when coming to money because that's what will happen. You will always have like money when you thought we think we think that money is is for some certain people money doesn't go on the trees remember money is a spirit everything is a spirit just like you and me we are spirit so if you speak negatively about money that's what will happen to your finances that's what you are call, you are calling upon and money is as if as it is spirit money will receive you are speaking those words to money and money won't be won't be able to come to you when you already have spoken negatively about it we need to have relationship with money we need to love money we need to love money but you don't love money to extend that money is controlling you you need to control money so before you do this ritual please put your Thought straight, release doubt, release control, just do this and let it go. And this technique is so simple, like I told you, you can even do it with me or you can, you can do it after. It's so simple. Just allow money to flow in your, make a way for money to flow freely in you. Money, you don't have to keep money and be scared to lose money you cannot keep something that you are afraid to to lose and nothing will come to you if that thing you are afraid to lose so make the way make the the flow of money you receive money you spend money or you give money just make a clear flow of money between you and money like i said money you have to have a relationship with it Money is for give and for receiving. I am not saying that you should not save. You should not have savings. But don't say words like, I am saving for rainy days. Which rainy days? Which rainy days? 
don't save money for for with the negative intentions because that's what will happen your money will be for rainy days it will not be for pleasure or for comfort so don't say those words ever you don't save money for rainy days which rainy days you are saving money for for pleasure and for comfort so workers of faith i was not wasting your time i was clearly wanting you to understand before you use any ritual any ritual for money for anything please clear those words clear those thoughts of uh, negativity because this technique that i'm about to show you will make you to overflow and that will help you to help your loved ones help your, your community your money will overflow your you will overflow with money you will overflow you'll never run out of cash because of faith please put this in your wallet pocket safe drawer wherever you put your money at so this is rice and this is salt so i i will only show you i will demonstrate you by using wallet and purse so here is my wallet here is my wallet i have already cleansed it it's empty for now so so that i can demonstrate easily for you and i have my purse here i have my is it a purse or is it a bag yes so here is my bag so i'm going to demonstrate you how you will attract money like nobody's business you all know you all know uh, workers of faith the uniqueness of rice you know rice when you cook it rice itself increase itself so when you put it in your wallet when you put it in your wallet you are sending those energies and that uniqueness of increasing inside your your wallet and you know on in your wallet you can you put your cards your bank account your credit cards you so by doing that you are going to increase your cash will increase you'll never run out of cash where autom automatically when you put a maybe let's say 100 rent in your you know wallet obviously it doesn't mean it's going to increase itself like magical you know universe doesn't work with magical things but it works with a uh, miraculous things miraculous things so when you do that you are going to increase your cash inside your wallet i am so telling you i'm i'm sure you have heard it about rice i'm sure I'm sure you have heard it somewhere, somehow, maybe on the channels or on social medias about how rice can make you wealthy. Only rice. And I believe rice is in every household. I believe rice is in, in every household. So, on the other hand, salt. Salt, I told you, is for protection. For protection, you know, we walk all over the... the energies negative energies we speak negative about our purse when you open your purse you sometimes say ah i don't have anything i don't have money i don't have money by doing that you are sending that weight inside your purse so salt that's where it will help you because we are human you forget you are not that perfect you are not always on our conscious mind because we we live subconsciously we use the words that we used to say about ourselves unconsciously. So salt will help you when you speak the negative words. If the salt is in there, ah, that salt will, will protect those words. They won't go through your money or inside your, your wallet. So by putting rice inside your purse, you are sending the energies of multiplication in your wallet. And we all know that what is what is always a uh, what is the use of one wallet obviously it's for money coin and what is this credit cards bank account bank account cards so you are 
multiply. You are sending the signal. You are sending the signal of multiplication. And we all know that universe, universe love the symbolic things. That is why when we pray, we need to do the works, the works of faith. We need to apply faith by works, by techniques, by methods. Universe love, love the symbolic things, just gestures. So I'm telling you, whatever you pray, whatever you want, do something, make something. So this is what you are going to do. I'm going to demonstrate you only with a wallet, with a wallet. So this is what you are going to do. You are going to take your, let me first, this is important. You are going to first take your salt. You are going to take salt like this. You don't have to pour your full hand. No, you are going to take the amount of salt, any amount, according to your size of, of your wallet. You are going to put it in your wallet. You are going to put it in your wallet, in a safe place, so that when you pay at the tills, your, the, the salt won't fall when you are around people. You are going to put it like this, but in a safe space. You are going to put it like this, and you speak, you say, Money stays in my wallet and my words or any other words that come from outside won't affect my money. So salt, I'm cleansing any negative energy that, that I have ever spoken in my wallet about my money, about my finances, about the thought that I, I, I thought that I, will, I won't have able to make money or to have enough money. So this is your salt. Then you come to the rice. The rice you are still saying the same, doing the same, not saying the same. Here is the rice. Any amount, any amount of rice, any amount of rice. You don't have to take the whole one kg of of rice in your in your purse. Imagine that. No, you are going to do the same. Maybe on the other side, or you can mix it in a in a one. A space you are going to say rice as you are unique as you are always increasing increase my money increase my finances increase my bank account so that I can overflow with money and after that you add a feeling the most important thing when you make rituals add a feeling say I am happy Right now that I have money, money multiply in my wallet. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly in an expected way and unexpected way. By doing that, you, you can keep a, that rice or salt for, for maybe, let me say, a one month. So you can keep that rice and salt for as long as you want. It won't get rotten. It won't even uh, maybe disturb you. You can keep it, keep it for 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 a long time, six months, more than that, as long as. But it goes according to you. If you see that uh, maybe the salt is dirty now, maybe because of the hands that we use uh, when we take out the money, put in the money, you know, you can remove it and uh, change. The, those salt and uh, rice and taking about the dirtiness I forgot to show you workers of faith but I will show you with my purse the spiritual things need cleanness remember cleanness is next to goodness or goodness is next to cleanness yeah the, I will show you with my purse here is my purse before you do anything, clean, remove those slips that you have been in your purse or in your wallet for a long time. Maybe you even forget what that slip is for. Remove it. Remove it. Make it clean. Make it afresh for new beginnings of money. Even if you maybe you were still having money, you can increase. 
Remember, we are made to increase. We are made to prosper and to overflow. There's nothing wrong by, by the getting too much of everything. There's nothing wrong there. We are made to be like that. So, workers of faith, this has been working and is still working for so many people, and including myself. I've seen so many regulars abundance of money flowing to me in expected and unexpected way so uh, if you think money is hard if you think money is hard to get that thought will keep you in that state for good even if you try to do this ritual of money believe believe because of faith believe have faith that universe is Watching each and every thought, each and every action and intentions. There's no way you can hide yourself. Your thoughts, your actions, and your words. There's no way where you, you can uh, hide yourself or hide from the universe. No way. Remember every action, everything that you do. Remember you are being watched by the divine, by the by, by universe, everything. And that everything that you are doing will return back to you. This is law of attraction. No matter you believe in law of attraction or not, everything that you do will come back to you in a form. And you will start by saying, this, I don't deserve this, I don't deserve this. You are making it worse. This is for these people. This is for these people. You are making your situation worse. So just change your life by thoughts by intentions, by words, you will see your life will be just the way you want. And because of faith, don't forget to subscribe my video and yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you.